Hi. My last video was quite long. In this video, I want to talk about Lost Kenny vs. Spenny Media. Lost Media refers to videos, audio, games, or other things that were once released but can no longer be found. Lost Media usually ends up being lost because our description or knowledge of it is just too obscure, or because it was never widely released in the first place so nobody really archived it. A very typical piece of Lost Media would be an episode of a TV show that aired once many years ago but never got any video or DVD release, and so there are no known reproducible copies of it. I've compiled a list of eight pieces of Kenny vs. Benny Lost Media. In the 11th episode of Season 1, Kenny and Spenny participate in a series of mini-competitions. The competitions as shown on the Season 1 DVD are Pee the Longest, Headstand, Blowing a Bubble, Pogo Stick, Rock Paper Scissors, Spelling Bee, Marshmallow Stuffing, Staring Contest, Holding Breath, Sperm Count, Bowling, Stair Race, Stair Race Number 2, Wrestling, 100 Yard Dash. That's also the same set of competitions that you'll see on Kenny's YouTube channel. However, it seems there's actually an alternate version of the episode that includes a pinball machine and a grape spitting competition, according to Wikipedia. These would have replaced two that were shown in the DVD version, the staring contest, and another that Kenny won, though we don't know which. Because of the connection between the marshmallow stuffing and the staring contest, it's possible that it was that. I have a few digital copies of the show and I've looked over the web, but I cannot find the pinball or grape competitions that aired on TV. Season 1 is available on Amazon Prime, and though they actually labeled the episodes wrong, the description for many comps mentions the grape spitting. But the episode itself is the same as the DVDs. I was sent this forum post from around when the episode aired, which describes this sort of convoluted plot where Kenny actually manages to put off competing in the grape spitting competition in order to spit it off the CN Tower and win the whole thing. The implications of this are kind of weird considering Spenny wins in the DVD version, but that's not what this video is about. I'm an American, but it constantly surprises me how very Canadian Kenny vs. Spenny's audience is. Even the viewers on this video seem to mostly hail from Canada. Where are the chicks? This is ridiculous. I love sausage parties. <laughs> I'm curious, if you saw the original version of this episode on TV, I'd really love to hear from you. You can either leave me a comment here, find me on Discord, or even send me an email. If you visit the Ranker.com website, you'll find community-sourced rankings of different topics and media and stuff. If you visit the Kenny vs. Spenny page, you'll see a ranking of the best episodes. The rankings themselves are pretty standard as far as what they say is the best or the worst, but the most interesting thing is that on the corresponding page for who can handle more torture, you can see this image of a cut segment from the episode. Your guess is as good as mine, but it looks like they've got meat on their heads to attract this lizard. I imagine that the lines on the bottom of this box are meant to measure how close the lizard gets to them before they retreat. This one's a little weird because it kind of seems like this would be more appropriate for who has the biggest balls. But Spenny is wearing a green shirt in the picture like he is during the torture episode, so I think it checks out. We know nothing about this segment other than this image, which I believe comes from promotional photos you can find on the TV Guide website. Also, what's interesting is that the description of the episode mentions Spenny dedicating the episode to his late father, which never happens. Kenny's upload of the episode also mentions the same thing, oddly enough. Carson, from the Kenny vs. Spenny subreddit and Discord, has been compiling a list of all the songs used in Kenny vs. Spenny. Some are pretty widely known tracks from classical composers or bands like King Crimson, and other times the artists are actually acknowledged in the credits. Some tracks are completely original songs, usually composed by Rich Pell, which have been archived in one place or another in their entirety. However, there are still several tracks that play in the show that we have no full versions of or knowledge about whether they are actually original compositions or not. I'll play some significant ones here for you, and if you have any ideas or want to contribute, I've linked the list in the description. I love video games. Jamie, where's the cable for this? Where's the cable? Wireless. I knew that. Fucking retarded. So how do you turn it on? Just keep pressing A, A button, right? Oh, thank God I have my dance sessions. If you're not familiar, MTV Cribs was a show that became popular in the early 2000s. 
Each episode features tours of celebrities' homes, usually showing off how fancy and lavish they were. Kenny, Spenny, and the Kenny vs. Spenny house was actually featured on an episode, which you can readily find on YouTube. Curiously, if you look on Kenny's Wikipedia page, you see him credited for two episodes of MTV Cribs, one in 2008 and another in 2010. Those who have seen my previous video know that I'm wary about community-sourced information on obscure media and the lack of quality control, so this just might be a mistake. I can place the filming of this MTV Cribs appearance to be after Season 3, because they show a clip from Octopus, but before Season 5, because of the orientation of Spenny's desk. Spenny's dry erase board has fallen off the wall like we see in Who Can Commit More Crime, so this was likely filmed in mid-2007. You can even see the weird lizard meat table that we see in the Lost Lizard segment in the back. Anyway, I would attribute this appearance as airing on MTV in 2008. All of this is just to say that there may be an episode of MTV Cribs that feature Kenny vs. Spenny after this appearance, maybe in 2010. I have never seen any clips, pictures, videos, or otherwise, so my guess would be that it doesn't actually exist. In 2013, Kenny hosted a radio show on Sirius in Canada. There are 23 episodes in total, and most of them are co-hosted by Jeff Castle, who Kenny previously worked with on Testies and Triumph of the Will. Kenny's tendency to bicker and tease moved on from Spenny and then on to Jeff, who's completely unfazed in the most unentertaining way. Uh, How is your pig wife, by the way? <laughs> She's amazing. In fact, Jeff's contribution to the radio show was mostly to try to get Kenny to talk about news items and keep him on track, which is just not Kenny's style. I think you've already used this one on the show. I don't think so. Oh, okay, go finish. We but get the joke. Now you're stealing my Auschwitz jokes? Is that, this is it? You do nothing! Um, <laughs> no arms, ditch the arms. This guy who... Um... By the later episodes, Kenny is getting increasingly agitated with Jeff for this. That really comes to a head after an extended argument in episode 15. In the original iteration of this episode, Kenny and Jeff are bickering for nearly the entire time, causing Kenny to upload an alternate take of the episode. Jeff does not appear in episode 16, or any episodes thereafter. The original version of episode 15, called by some episode 15B, was uploaded at some point and was available. I remember listening to it myself, though I don't remember if there was a video version or if it was just audio. There have been a few Reddit posts inquiring about its fate, but nobody's been able to recover it. I will say, if you downloaded Kenny's radio show to one of your devices automatically as part of a podcast app or something like that, it's possible you actually have this lost alternate episode. And if you do, please reach out to me. If you visit KennyVersusSpenny.tv, and you can, even though the website's frozen in 2005, you'll see a few things. You can go look and explore for yourself, but one thing I want to direct you to is this text here. Check out the new Kenny vs. Spenny Best Friends Worst Enemies mobile game. You can find it on Rogers, Bell, Telus, and Fido handsets. So first question, what is this mobile game? You can see in the lower middle that you can check out their mobile game demo. Flash isn't supported anymore, so I had to install an extension to re-enable it. The game that you can play here is basically an incredibly simplistic interpretation of who can win a rat race, where you play as either Phoebe or Sean and you pick up cheese while avoiding obstacles. There's a level select, though the only level is the rat race game. There's some pretty cool instrumental KBS tracks that play, though the game itself seems a bit unpolished. Winning or losing just puts you on a leaderboard, and I can't seem to accomplish anything beyond that. This is just a demo, with a full version being released on physical handsets. The best resource to understand the scope of what this game is, or was, is on the producer Breakthrough Entertainment's website. It gives a short review and describes the game. It mentions that winning a minigame gives you access to a series of humiliating images of the loser, though I could never get to this in the demo, so maybe it's not possible there. They do mention that Biggest Balls and Octopus were also adapted into minigames. There's a screenshot on the page of Kenny Karate chopping a stack of wood, and there's a scorpion here for some reason. The description of the Octopus game seems like even more of a stretch. In fact, it sounds nearly exactly like the Rat Race game. I'll remind you that not all lost media is worth finding based on the merits of its content alone. The quoted review at the top of the page can be searched and found. The review itself isn't that interesting, but it does provide us some screenshots. It appears that the Karate Chop minigame is indeed the biggest balls game, which makes some sense because Kenny and Spenny do that in the episode. There's also a very vague press release that calls out some of the folks involved. You can also find a review in Artist Technica that gives us a few other details. In this case, we're told that Who Can Win a Beauty Pageant also has its own minigame, and there are inherent abilities to Kenny and Spenny that may have given them a certain edge in certain games. The writer also provided a very tiny image of what looks like press material. 
You can tell that two of the screenshots in the folder are from the Rat Race and Biggest Balls games, though it's hard to discern what the third is. I reached out to the writer of this article, Frank Karen, and asked if it was possible he still had the press materials, a handset with the game on it, or the game itself. Fortunately, he responded, but unfortunately, he did not have them. Given that the game was distributed via a store on a more than a decade old handset technology, this one may be lost for good. You can find outtakes and deleted scenes from the show on the DVDs, and Kenny has also uploaded them to YouTube. However, there are outtakes that are not available on official home releases that may have made their way to YouTube through fan uploads. It appears that some of these were online-only extras that at one point were available on the Showcase or Comedy Central website, but are no longer. This means that some outtakes, like the cauliflower segment from Fart, are available only cropped or in very poor quality because the original files aren't available anymore. There are even some outtakes that people remember seeing that are now lost, and we're only left with the descriptions. For example, Reddit user Metal Gear Sora recounts seeing a video of Spenny playing a Nintendo DS on the Showcase website. If this does exist, I've never seen it and it's been lost. It's hard to tell what other web-exclusive extras may be lost as well. Versusville is a multi-genre online game that was produced while the show is airing. I'm not going to talk about Versusville in this video, because what we've done to try to track it down actually deserves its own. I will say that if you know anything about Versusville, if you've played Versusville, if you have Versusville, if you know someone who's played Versusville, please reach out to me. So that's it for this list. I appreciate you watching. I want to take a moment to thank anyone who left a comment on my previous videos or given me feedback in general. I'll also say that some of the best conversations I've had and work I've seen done has been on the official Kenny Hots Discord server. I invite you guys to join it if you like the show and want to hang out with some fellow fans. Until next time, here's Spenny drinking his pee. Salud.